this is not the video that I wanted to make, but I just had to say something because like I said, I see stuff online all the time and not to give out any free promotion to anybody. There's some things going on in the YouTube community, you know, revolving drama. And there's always something going on, you know. It's always, always something. Like I said, the video I was going to make was something very lighthearted, you know, talking about something totally different, something that, that had nothing to do with this, this top topic, this subject. And I think a lot of people can relate to this. That's why it's important for me to say that I'm actually supposed to be watching the news right now and getting ready to get some sleep. But for the most part, I think this is important to say. When you use your platform, whatever that platform is, social media, offline, politics, religion, you know, uh, sexuality, power imbalances, you name it. When you use your platform to tear another person down, that's harmful within itself. And then within your own community, when you do that, that's harmful as well. You know, especially within the black community, that adds another wrinkle to it because it's already a stigma as far as black people in America, around the world, people of color, indigenous people, folks that go through things. So it bothers me when I look out there and I see people using it to tear each other down. You know, family versus family, you know, individual versus individual without understanding the consequences and repercussions to the actions of using these platforms to tear people down. Now, I don't have to like you. I don't have to care about you. I don't have to be your friend. I don't have to be your lover. You know, we don't have to talk. We don't have to speak. You know, we could be cool and not cool. But when you bring things out into the open publicly and when you do it within a certain community, it divides the community, tears the community apart. You know, be it a religious community, be it the LGBTQ community, you know, be it, you know, uh, work situations. You know, there's some things that, you know, need to be handled privately behind the scenes. But it seems like and it appears as if, you know, on social media, they use it as a diary. You know, they use the shade room as a diary to quote the rapper Big Sean. And, you know, I, I get the temptation and I'm not saying I haven't been tempted before to do it myself. I've had to check myself and catch myself and pull myself back from the edge. And I understand how destructive it can be. You know, sometimes people wind up committing suicide or people do, you know, like, you know, things that in, in, in spite of revenge and stuff like that. They do things to get back at people. And one of the things I say why this is important for me to say is because we don't think about how it affects the children. Because what we do today affects tomorrow. How we use social media today, how we come at each other, you know, how we present ourselves to the world, you know, shows the future generations what's acceptable or not acceptable, what's okay, or how far can you push it to the limits. And sometimes we don't see that because we're so caught up in the moment. But I see people with their children engaging in public beefs, in drama, in unnecessary gossip, in your windows trying to give out receipts and stuff like that and it disturbs me because this is the stuff that we put out there and then when it's from a certain community a lot of times when people look over and they say well those people over there represent this community and i say no no they don't you know whatever it is whoever they are you know be it a black community or whatever community people's a part of you know when you say racially socioeconomically you know from a you know a different class of people or whatever the case may be you know we all individuals in our own but there's the representation that comes with it you know and the scrutinizing that comes with it because sometimes people do stereotype unfortunately and sometimes it's, it's hard when you know certain stereotypes are definitely perpetuated within any community especially in the black community and it bothers me when i see people of color you know, going at people of color online, you know, for stuff that could be hashed out behind the scenes. Maybe you want views, you know, maybe you want attention, maybe you want something out of it. Like from right now, I'm not doing this for the views. I'm not doing this for any particular thing. I may not even reshare this out. I'm just going to post this and whoever wants to see it, see it. Whoever don't see it, don't see it. But I say this to people, white, black, brown, gay, straight, whatever, lesbian, you know, transgender, religious, non-religious. When you post something, think about it. You know, think about the effects that it has. You know, think about what you put out there because even when you put it out there and you try to delete it and pull it back, people see it. They know about it. They hear it. You know, it, it, it reverberates through the community. It reverberates through society once you put it online. There's things, you know, online a lot of us would like to take back and never have come back again. But there's something about the Internet. Even if you throw it into the ether, it comes back mysteriously. I say that to say this, that 
this is something that affects future generations, you know, with how we use, you know, this particular technology. You know, once you open up Pandora's box, you know, once you start to do stuff to, you know, have things out there. Like, I'll give you a for instance. Like, I don't, I don't know if anybody, I'm dating myself right now. I don't know if anybody remembers MySpace and how they used to do the slut pages, you know, where, you know, uh, you know, a woman, a female, you know, somebody young or whatever um, goes out there, sleeps with a certain amount of people, and then all of a sudden they create a page showing, you know, who this female is and who she slept with and stuff like that. And stuff like that, you know, is, you know, has evolved, you know, into, you know, attack videos and, you know, revenge porn and all kind of other crazy stuff that people do. You know, and then you beg the question, like, you know, how far do we go with this stuff? When is enough enough? You know, when is it something where you could just handle with a phone call? You know, why do you have to get the whole world involved? Why do you have to get strangers involved? Why do you have to try to, you know, put stuff out there that's not meant for public consumption? You know, I mean, I get it. You want views. I get it. You want attention. I get it. You want to express yourself. I get it. You want to defend yourself. You know, maybe do that in a court of law or maybe you get an understanding with somebody privately. I mean, there's a time and a place to address things publicly, but it, it, it really begs the question, you know, of society. You know, what what is it that we're trying to accomplish? What is it that we're trying to do? You know, and it does, you know, send a bad message to the youth. Maybe you don't care about that if you don't keep doing what you do. But I, I try to encourage people, I implore people, you know, to let wiser minds prevail, you know, to, you know, be, be out there and say, you know what, look, I mean, it, it got it got to be a better way. It definitely got to be a better way. It got it got to be some some restraint, you know, because there's a lot of things out. There. There's a lot of us who have beef with people. There's a lot of us who have problems. There's a lot of us that have things going on, you know, with folks, you know, there, there should be some candor. There should be some discretion. Because if not, then it's just a free for all and it affects us. You know, I guess to quote Jay Z, you know, nobody wins when the family feuds. If that's your thing and that's what you'd like to do, then ignore this message. But if you actually want to do something different, then I encourage you think about what you post. You know, not to keep your personal beefs and, and put it out there for public consumption. Even myself, I have to be careful with that. I have to restrain myself and not put it out there for public display because that's not what this is for definitely not this is for but I get the law the drive the motivation you know the temptation to chase after that you know but it affects us all it definitely affects us all